Should I be concerned that your Amazon Prime Visa card is out? Out. Should you be concerned? Absolutely not. You should be actually happy because I just, I have it out because I just paid it off and made sure there was a zero balance. You're just clearing the path to make purchases tomorrow on Prime Day. Well, that's true. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on our couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Not that you need an alert for this particular <laughs> video. I think this is your favorite video of the whole year. Oh yeah. We make this video every year and I love this video because I love Amazon Prime Day. We're basically an Amazon hub well, at our house. Here's the thing. First of all, Amazon in itself, I know. Some people don't like Amazon, but so for me, convenient. I love it. First of all, I get to Porky Pig shop. Please don't do that. Why not? I'm in my own home. I should be able to Porky Pig shop. I'll put a bra on to shop <laughs> if you put some pants on. Okay, How about that? Deal. Um, but what I like is number one, you get to shop from your own home. Generally things are cheaper. Yeah. There's a wide variety. So it's really easy to like price shop and compare from home. And then a lot of the stuff that we purchase either shows up the same day, the next day, or at most in two days. Like it's a win, win, win. And since you were bringing up my credit card, <laughs> Again, we are not endorsing you go in debt. No. We believe in using credit cards to help benefit you, not yes. to put you in a financial hole. But Amazon has their own card. And if you use their card to make purchases at Amazon or Whole Foods, get money back. You get 5% of your purchase back in Amazon credit that you can then use next month to purchase more stuff. I'm all about using credit cards, not letting credit cards use me. Yeah. So if you don't have one, I suggest you get one. But again, don't go in debt no. at the end of the month pay off your card. Act like you're paying cash for it. Yep. A lot of times we'll like literally use it and immediately jump on and pay off whatever we just put on there. Yeah. But I love Amazon Prime Day because a lot of things go on sale on Prime Day. Things that like we're gonna use for our camping channel, for our camper, for our house, and a lot of stuff that's inside of our keto kitchen. Well, I think about the ice cream maker. Yes. That's the first thing that comes to my mind because we would never have been able to afford that except for we got it on a Prime Day. Yeah, the regular price on it was like $345. We got it on Prime Day for $145 or some price like that. That it was, was like a ridiculous. bargain. So here's what we're gonna do in today's video, we're gonna go over all of the items that we've either purchased ourselves on Prime Day that we know generally go on sale on Prime Day or things that we will be looking for on Prime Day. And we'll show you different pictures, but don't get hung up on the brands because right. we're just trying to give you, you know, an idea of things to be on the lookout for. Yeah, now down below, there's gonna be a link for everything we put up, but if you click that link, it will help benefit the channel, even if you don't purchase that particular product. So for example, the first item we're gonna talk about is actually glass storage containers. And we really like these because we really worked hard on getting away from the plastic because of all of the, you know, different things that, you know, you've got phytoestrogens and what happens when you heat up plastics. We've been trying to get away from that, getting into glass storage containers and generally they're on sale. So if you use that link down below, that's this particular brand right here, but there may be another brand on sale. So don't get hung up on that particular brand. I would suggest though, getting hung up in that lock and lock kind of fitting. Yes. That those type are just so, so good. They usually nest. And again, there's all kinds of different brands, but they nest well and you use them for everything. Yeah. The biggest downside to the glass storage containers over like the plastic lock and locks, which we've always used, is they don't generally nest inside of each other. 
However, you don't need as many because you don't have to worry about that plastic getting the gunk caked in and yeah. changing colors and everything else. We're really enjoying them. So I would definitely be on the lookout for glass storage containers. So the next one that we were going to bring up is Dasher bags. We love these and they work great for camping and at home yes. because they're very easy to clean. It's nice to not have to buy so many Ziploc bags. I feel like I'm helping the environment. And also it's just, they're just so convenient. And they clean really easy. My biggest concern when I started using silicone bags was like, how are you gonna clean them? But they actually clean very easy. You just turn them inside out and then you can just take like a sponge with a little bit of soap and wash, wash them. Or you can even stick them in the dishwasher. But they're great for storage, for heating things up. And they work really well for the sous vide, which that is the main reason we started purchasing them because I love my sous vide, but listen, the whole idea about sous vide is putting something inside of a plastic bag, right. vacuum sealing it, and now once again, you're back heating to it heating up. in plastic, and that's just not good. So we highly recommend it. There's lots of different brands out there. Again, use the link down below. Once you click on one of those links, it's gonna bring it up, and then if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna find all these other suggestions. You can also just kind of be looking down the whole Prime list. Yeah. Uh, next item up is little tiny condiment cups. This is one of my absolute favorite things for everybody in the family. It's not just because we're keto. Everybody in the house is heavy handed yes. when it comes to condiments and they don't mean to go through an entire bottle of our very expensive ketchup, <laughs> but they do. Right. So it's a lot easier to just help them with the portion control. Don't just squirt it on your plate, put it in here, and it, it makes you conscious of how much you're pouring out. Yeah, now the ones that we have the link for down below, those are two and a half ounce ones, which is basically going to be generally like a double serving size according to what the label is. So you can fill it like halfway up and now I'm pretty much out of serving size, or even if you fill it all the way up and go, okay, so listen, nobody only uses a tablespoon of ketchup on a giant meal, right? They're gonna use a couple of tablespoons. So now at least you have an idea of how much you have in there and we find them invaluable and you don't have to accidentally be bringing them home from restaurants or anything like that. Yeah. I love them and they work really well. They do. Uh, next item up on the list is ramekins. Oh, I love these ramekins. That's usually what we use to make our custard. We make all of our mug cakes in ramekins, really. We don't even use mugs that much. We use the ramekins. I find it easier to use ramekins over mugs. It's easier to clean them. Uh, I like the fact that they get wider instead of tall, so I find that it actually bakes easier when you put them in the microwave. Uh, I suggest looking for the eight or 10 ounce ones. They just work for so many things because not only can you make mug cakes and can you make custards in them, but you can use it also for like a small portion control. For example, maybe you want some yogurt. Well, if I put yogurt into a regular like cereal kind of bowl and I put in a serving or maybe two, I look in that bowl and I'm like, I didn't get enough. I'm kind of getting gypped. But Give when you put more. it into one of those small ramekins, now you feel like, okay, my bowl is at least half full. Right. And it's just a mind over matter thing. All these little things help. So let's take a look at the next item. So the next thing we were looking at is actually silicone baking mats. Oh my gracious. Again, this is whether you are running a keto kitchen or not. This is so smart to have because you're not using a ton of aluminum foil because if you've let your kids loose with the aluminum foil, they'll use a whole roll and let's face in it, one city. That stuff's expensive. It is. And these mats make cleanup such a cinch. I mean, we cook a lot of greasy stuff and we cook a lot of things with cheese. And that can be a nightmare on baking pans if mm -hmm. you're just plopping it down on the baking pan. And there are a lot of different brands out there. Once again, don't get hung up on the brand that we're showing you or their link is down below for. It's just, these are the ones that we have usually purchased in the past or ones that we know go on sale. But you know, when especially when it comes to like silicone baking mats, there are so many different companies out there. And the bottom line is they're all the same. It's literally like everybody going to one place, buying them and then slapping right. their name on them. So don't get hung up on the brand. No. Just go for the sizes yeah, you the want. Yeah, the sizes. I like to get the like assorted ones where you're going to get a couple of big ones and a couple of little ones, maybe some for muffin tins. The toaster oven one is the one that we use the absolute yes. most. So uh, while we're talking about silicone, 
And Matt, the next item we were looking at is actually baking pans for silicone. So we make all of our fat bombs in the silicone molds, but also like any of our keto cakes and things like that, we use, you know, the silicone bakeware and it works great. The only thing that I like to do is make sure that I have something hard, maybe like a, you know, a cookie sheet, a cookie sheet underneath it because we've made the mistake of like pouring batter into the silicone molds. And then, I mean, it's Lift still, it you know, loose, but I love how they clean up. I don't even need, um, you know, cupcake wrappers anymore. No. You can just pour it right in and it pops out really great. They're like, I think the greatest thing ever invented. I Meat absolutely loaf, love them. Meatballs. Okay, let's get into some of your favorite type of things. Okay. And we're gonna start talking about a little bit of electronics. And the first one I wanna bring up is Rachel's new favorite toy. And that is a milk frother. I have got to give a shout out to Erin Does The Things <laughs> because she's the one that first got me hooked on this because her coffees look so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I love making pretty coffee. Right. It's it. Do I need to have a frother in my life? No. no. Do I love my frother? Yes. If you try to come for my frother, I'm gonna fight you. Yeah. Because I love it. It makes the coffee so pretty. Now we've done a video where it shows you which almond milk actually makes the best froth. I'll leave a link for that one up here. But it really does make it pretty for coffee. And I love the fact that it actually froths almond milk. So now you feel like you're getting that special coffee that you would usually get when you're using creams and things like that, yeah. but not having all of the added calories and the added fat and turning your like nice healthy coffee into like a 500 calorie meal and now you can't eat a whole bunch of food later on. So right. absolutely love it. Again, don't get hung up on the brand. The one that we have the link down below for, that's the one that we actually have. And right. we have two of them. We have one here in the house and we have one that we keep in the RV because she won't even go camping without her froth anymore. Well, I mean, what is better than sitting in a camp chair? Yeah. <laughs> out in nature enjoying a coffee house level of coffee. Yeah, like, and we actually like this one better than the little stick ones because number one, it heats it and it just yeah. seems to get a little bit better froth without making a giant mess. When I use that little <laughs> stick one, there's stuff everywhere. Yeah. So again, be on the lookout for that if you like having froth on your coffee. Okay, oh. next item. I don't even want to bring this up because I'm going to get the words. So I might as well get the word now. Balls. Balls. Let's talk about the item that every one of you guys were telling Rachel, you need to start using these. And, and she did. refused. And then when she started using them, she absolutely loved them. And that is dryer balls. Balls. <laughs> there is no going back now. You guys were absolutely right. And the dryer balls are very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. I think I've saved just an absolute ton of money this year. Right. Probably enough for you to enjoy something on Prime Day because I don't have to buy the dryer sheets anymore. Right, and you know, you can just get any kind of essential oil and just put a few on there. I know we just actually became a sales Scentsy. for Scentsy, so I'm sure you're gonna be buying all of Heck the yes, Scentsy scents, yeah. putting them on the dryer ball. So they work really well and it's definitely better than using those dryer sheets. And also, by the way, you don't get all of those chemicals that they put in the dryer sheets and the fabric softener in your clothes. I'd like to publicly apologize because I thought y'all were lying <laughs> and it was gonna make my laundry not smell good. And in fact, I think it makes my laundry smell better. Now, if we could just get you to go over to smell free laundry detergent. Oh, let's not get And then crazy. allow the scentsy scents that are on the dryer ball to get into the clothes. Hey, and then we don't have competing smells. I also gave up my fabric softener, which I thought that day would never come. But our clothes smell better now. It does. Because we don't get all of that gunk Build up. like building up inside of the clothes. We're not crapping up our washer so either. So definitely be looking for dryer balls. Okay. Here's Balls. an item that a lot of people probably don't want, but we probably all need them. Yes. And they can be expensive, but Amazon generally has some good ones on sale. In fact, we got ours last year on Prime Day. Yeah. And that is going to be resistance bands. Resistance bands. And I have bought them at like Ross, you know, <laughs> thinking if I buy them in person, they'll be a better quality. And I've got to tell you that Amazon ones were way better quality 
than the ones that me and my mom have found at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Ross. Like, and again, there are lots of brands out yeah, there on different Amazon. Sizes. So make sure you're just like, when you get into the prime thing, just type in resistance bands. I guarantee you one of the companies is going to have them on sale. Just click through the links down below first to help benefit the channel. I do tend to like though the little bit thicker bands because mm -hmm. I know that they usually, it's almost like they comes in like a couple set like you're going to use like the mighty thick ones and I'm going to use the tiny little thin ones but like the tiny little thin ones, I don't know, they scare me more. Well this set here that I have linked, I actually like this set better than the set we have. So the set we have is an actual like record rectangular kind of band. They're under Sun Fitness ones. They're expensive. Well, I like the tube ones because they're easier to hold. Yeah. And this set that we have linked down below actually comes with handles to make it a little bit easier, especially if you're doing curls and things like that. I even, I mean, this sounds crazy. I will, when we have a full, our Ingle cooler is full up with like ice, ice and water and stuff like that, I will go right in the pool, tie my resistance bands to it and do my workout like in the pool. Is that why those things are out there? It is. Okay, let's talk about the next one. People ask us all the time where we get these. This is where we get them. We get them on Amazon and generally load up on Prime Day and that is metal straws. They are such a great deal. Like I've seen them so much more expensive in stores and I think they make my drinks taste better. I just like them because, hey, listen, most of the stores, they've shifted over to those paper straws. I can't take those. Which I don't like the feel like of them in my mouth. dissolving in your mouth. But the other problem is, is we tend to have bigger mugs. We like the Yeti coolers and like the art, the rec tech type of like big giant mugs. Or of course, Anthony and I have 120 ounce giant. cooler mugs when we're out in the truck. And a lot of straws don't fit them. So the link down below is for the really long ones. They work really well in blender bottles. So if you ever see us with our blender bottle, like the one that we sell on our website, it goes all the way up to the top. There's not room. You don't have to worry about like the straw falling down and you gotta right. take off the top. Oh, that so drives me nuts. I like the long ones. So that's what the link for down below is. I don't wanna struggle with my straw. Speaking of blender bottles, Prime Day is a great day to look for blender bottles. Yeah, and I'm the name brand ones because yes. there is a difference. I think the seal on an actual blender bottle is so much better than some of the knockoffs we've got. Yeah, I would definitely stick with the actual blender bottles for a few reasons. Number one, I think they're made better. But yeah. number two, they actually do have a lifetime warranty. So if you have a problem, and I just actually had a problem with one of mine where the top cracked off, they sent me a new one. You just call them up and they'll send you a new one. So a lot of us do like Keto Chow or Zip Fizz or just having other drinks, maybe using Prime Protein Powder, and you need to have a blender bottle. So definitely look for them. They're almost always on sale on Prime Day. I like blue ones. You like the blue ones? I like the blue ones. You know what else you like? You like hot coffee. Oh yeah, but it has to be in, yes, the Contigo. <laughs> Contigo is the only one that fits my mouth right. Like there's a lot of travel mugs out there and maybe right. the Contigo one is not for you. You like a different one, but however my mouth is shaped, the Contigo one is the only one that I don't dribble or it doesn't leak in any way. I have put that sucker to the test. And if you see in our videos, me with a Contigo, that thing looks battle damaged yeah. because I take it everywhere. It is outside. It is stuffed in my bag. I mean, it is just everywhere. I have never experienced a spill with a Contigo. For me, the most important thing is not necessarily Contigo. Rachel loves Contigo. What I'm saying look for is stainless steel coffee things. So if you are a coffee drinker on the go, try to avoid once again those plastic cups oh, yeah. that you can get. You know, you go to the gas stations like Wawa and they're like, here's our cup and you can refill it over and over again for 99 cents, but it's plastic. You're putting a hot liquid in plastic. Now you're getting all the phytoestrogens. We gotta worry about all of the chemicals and everything. You're better off getting a stainless steel one. They're gonna keep hot things hot longer, cold things cold longer, and you don't have to worry about like sweating. They don't Plus, spill. there's no chemicals. Just make sure you get one with a good top that can seal. I've already gonna have a grease stain on my shirt from my food, okay? I don't also want a coffee stain from my beverage. <laughs> okay, 
Let's talk about my favorite kitchen, or I guess it's not a kitchen, it's a backyard thing. Take it outside. And that is anything to do with the Blackstone, specifically the Blackstone utensils. Yeah, because that dome was life, right? Like that <laughs> made it so that you can cook so many things on your Blackstone. Yeah, you definitely want to, at minimum, have a couple of the long spatulas, and I like the ones with the flat top on them. I don't like the ones where they're slightly rounded because with the flat top one, you can kind of use it to scrape. The rounded one, you can't. You gotta make sure you have a couple of scrapers. I like having several so that I can take a set, keep them outside, and then I have another set that I've used. That comes in, that goes in the dishwasher. I still have a set outside. Well, that one's being washed. So they're constantly getting rotated. And once again, the most important thing is that dome. You yes. need the dome that melts cheese, it cooks your eggs better. You can make your over easy eggs without ever flipping the egg if you have the dome. It is unbelievable. It's great for great cooks, but it's also awesome for not so great cooks. I've also learned it makes a really good skillet pizza. So you can get like the Crave Bakery pizza crust or any pizza crust or even cheese. You put that down on the Blackstone, then you put all of your toppings on, you put the dome over, and then everything just melts, and it makes the most delicious pizza. So good. So speaking about a Blackstone, let's actually look for a Blackstone on Prime Day, because they're awesome, and they're almost always on sale on Prime Day. Well, and there's all kinds of different sizes. So whether you need one that's super portable, you know, one for a camper or one that you just keep at home mm -hmm. and use every single day, like use it every single day because it's just so convenient and keeps all the mess outside. I absolutely love the Blackstone. The only thing I would say is I personally am not a big fan of the 17 inch model unless you can get one where it's got the grease trap in the back. I don't like the grease trap in the front. It doesn't work that well and it makes a big mess underneath. It also only has one burner so it doesn't get an even cook. I would start off with the 22 inch one or the 28 inch one which we have linked down below or if you just like the big giant one at your house on wheels, look for the 36 inch in one. But a lot of times they are on sale on Prime Day so it's a great time to look for it. Yeah. Uh, next item is actually an immersion blender. So we stopped using this to make our coffee, but we have never stopped using this to make our mayonnaise <laughs> because it works great. It works really well on mayonnaise. It works really good if you're making just a couple of keto chows, maybe in a pitcher. I know that's how the bears like to do it. Mm -hmm. You can just mix up things really quickly. I like the ones where you can get a cup attachment. So if maybe you just want to grind up a couple of things or maybe yeah. a, a tiny little batch of something. Everything can be done with the immersion blender. And again, don't get hung up on a brand. They're all basically the same thing. For me, what's more important is looking for the attachments that it comes with. Yeah, because there's all kinds of attachments. I mean, mm -hmm. mixers and I mean, just so much cool stuff. Speaking of mixers, this is a great day to be looking for deals on our favorite blender, the Vitamix. Man, there is nothing better than a Vitamix. And I know people are very passionate about their blenders mm -hmm. and they love them. And there's all kinds of different brands out there. So if you're looking for a specific set, like a Ninja or something like that, you like that brand better, that's totally fine and understandable. But man, I feel like the Vitamix is really the Mercedes of mixers and blenders. I love the Vitamix. It works really well to make ice cream. It's because of the way the motors work and then you have the tamper. Now, one thing I would say about the Vitamix, look for whatever happens to be on sale yeah. on Prime Day. And also Amazon a lot of times has something called renewed ones where they've been basically remanufactured. They're usually at a much lower price and just as good. So that's something to be on the lookout for. But when it comes to Vitamix, you don't need the most expensive no. one. You don't need all of the bells and the whistles and everything else and timers. This one here that we have, this one is perfect. It's got the on off switch, it's got the pulse switch and it's got the dial. It's really all you need. Also, I would highly suggest making sure you get one that has a 48 ounce container over the 64 ounce container. The 64 ounce container is too big unless you're making like stuff for like three or four people, but you can't even make mayonnaise in the 64 ounce one unless you're making a huge batch of it because the, the liquid, liquid it won't cover the blade so get the 48 ounce container okay 
Rachel's favorite thing <laughs> of all time. This is almost always on sale on Prime Day. We bought ours on Prime Day. Yeah. It is a great appliance, and it is the Breville Grind Control Coffee Maker. Except no substitutes. <laughs> like, I just love our Breville. It's, I mean, talk about something that is a workhorse, and we force it to work multiple times Couple a day. Couple pots a day. Couple pots a day. It grinds beans fresh, which is really nice and makes the entire house smell amazing. But it also, we can use regular ground coffee in it. Yeah, and that's what I like about it. I like the fact that you can have your beans up on top, you press one button, and it's gonna grind the beans, it's gonna put it into the basket, and then it's gonna brew it, or you can just turn the knob over to like pre-ground coffee, scoop in what you want. You could make just two cups, you could make eight cups, you could make 12 cups. It just works really well and we've had absolutely no issues with it. No. Next up is probably my favorite kitchen appliance and there's not a day that goes by in our house that we do not use this. Right. And we've tried a lot of different so brands. So many. We've tried ones from QVC. We've Macy's. tried one from Macy's. We've tried one from Walmart. Kohl's. We've gone to uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. None of them have worked like this brand and we're actually looking for a new one on Prime Day. Not because ours doesn't work, just because it's battle damaged. It looks so sad at this point, but everybody in the house uses it multiple times. Times a day. And that is the Kasori Air Fryer. I think that's, I'm pronouncing this right. So this is the one that we have, the Kasori Air Fryer Max XL, and it's perfect. What I like about it is, first of all, it's square, so yeah. you get to get things in there. You fit more in it. It fits better. And I know a lot of them say round. People say, well, round allows the air to flow better. We've had this one for three years now and had no issues. Everything crisps up, but more importantly, the lining, the nonstick lining- Doesn't go anywhere. Hasn't peeled off. Every other brand we have tried, that lining has peeled off and now you're eating that stuff. I have eaten so much of that stuff. Like, That's what's wrong with you. Right? <laughs> like there's, talk about putting the K in crazy. Like I have eaten so much of that flaking off stuff. Like even when you're eating it, you're like, this can't be good, but yeah. you're like, well, this is my air fryer. But yeah, this one doesn't flake off. Yeah, I would just look for one from that company. Don't worry necessarily about the model. I highly suggest the 5.8 quart one. I think it's the perfect size. It's great for our family. I can put three really big chicken breasts Giants. in there. You can make a whole bunch of wings. It's really the perfect size. I think the next size down is a little bit too small. Unless maybe you're just cooking for yourself, then I can see where you might want the smaller one. Well, even my mom has the bigger one and she likes to do Cornish game hens in them and it has no problem yeah. fitting two of them in there at the same time. But at least one from this particular company will be on sale. Don't worry about so much when it comes to like what all the different buttons are. They all work the same. Just some of them have extra features, which again, I find I don't use 99% of them. I'm never gonna use the french fry setting. No. I actually think it's easier to know like, hey, I wanna put it at 380 degrees for 25 minutes rather than having to press a button and then adjust the time. Sometimes it's easier to just dial in the right temperature and time than figuring out which button do I need to press. Right. Okay, this is the item that kind of started us on buying all of our items for uh, Keto Kitchen on Prime Day. Yeah. And that is an ice cream maker. This is the exact one that we have. Talk about something we don't need, but we totally love. <laughs> like ice cream every single day. We used to have the bowl where you would like set it in the freezer and that would- And I would never get ice cream. And then, but you have to wait like a full 24 hours before it gets, frozen again and so yeah we would either have half a serving of keto chow and you know how i feel about that um or he would have to wait for ice cream later or which have to make it a different way doesn't seem very fair so yeah. i love the ice cream maker and it it does a beautiful job and again don't get hung on the brand if if the cuisinart one is the one on sale go ahead and get the cuisinart one if the winner one is on sale go ahead and get the winner one they have a couple of different ones they have this one that we have uh, that you have linked down below, which is the long one. They also have a taller one. Uh, they work really well. I highly recommend it, but you can see the price on it there. It's $291 at the time that we're filming this, but we paid $145 for that two years ago. Yeah, and something that we haven't mentioned yet, but probably should is 
don't get so hung up on color selection. So yes. like, I mean, we're not one of those, you know, people that have to have every appliance the same color. And it's actually really benefited us because sometimes Amazon will have one color on sale, like mm. cheaper than the other. So as you're purchasing things on Prime Day, I would definitely like, you know, just put your cursor over every single color and say, see, is there a difference between, you know, color prices? Yeah, especially if there is a color selection, make sure when you click on it, after you click on that color, look over on the side. Is it still, still the prime? sale price? Is it still prime? Because there's a lot of times where you're gonna see something and it's like the black one is on sale on prime, but then if you click over to the red one, maybe that one's on sale, but it's no longer free shipping. Yeah. Or maybe it's free shipping, but it's $20 more. So you have to really be careful because a lot of the companies do that where different colors are different prices. And some of them, like you have to wait maybe two or three weeks for shipping. Yeah. Okay, next item is an item that we use probably at least every other day. We pretty much only use it for three different things, yeah. but it's still used in our house on a regular basis. And that is an Instant Pot. It is great. And honestly, I mean, it is great for bone broth. Obviously we use it for yogurt. You can cook a, a chicken or even a, a small turkey mm -hmm. fast. And I mean, I just love that thing. And I'm glad that we finally got past the childhood fear of a pressure cooker altogether. <laughs> now, one thing about getting an Instant Pot is make sure you get one that has a yogurt button. Because yeah. if you don't have the yogurt button, you're gonna have a difficult time making the Two Crazy Ketos yogurt that I have linked right up here. And we actually have two different kinds. We have a high fat version and we have a low fat, high protein version. You can make them both the same way. Follow the recipe in the second one, just changing up the milk because in the second one, we actually like made it a little bit easier, cut out a couple of steps and also added in something that I forgot to put here, but make sure you go look for it. Yogurt and that strainer. is a yogurt strainer. Although I'm sure that nut milk bags will also be on we sale. We don't want nut milk bags. But the yogurt strainer is super convenient. <laughs> okay. Uh, next item is an item that we use on a regular basis because it's really good for meal prepping. It's really good for going and buying bulk stuff, especially when you see Dales on like, you know, ground beef or chicken, and Special that is meats. a food saver. Yeah, I love this to be able to to separate. We get giant packs of stuff, or if we run into a sale, I'm gonna load up on meat. Especially now, it feels like the sales are fewer and far between on meat. So, I mean, I'm I'm there to win. So, mm -hmm. like, I buy a bunch, and then we'll just spend an afternoon, like, you know, packaging it all up and it really helps against freezer burn. Yeah. Now that is pretty much all of the items that I was able to think of off of the top of my head when it came to like what I'm looking for on Prime Day or things I've bought on Prime Day. I'm sure there's more. Let us know down below in the comment what section. For? What are you looking for on Prime Day? But I do have a couple little bonus ones. These are items that I know go on sale every year on Prime Day. And uh, the next couple, they're not actually even appliances, but they're keto foods. The first one is high key cookies. Yeah, it is amazing. Every single year, we can always count on high key cookies to go on sale on Prime Day. I love high key cookies. I think that they have the best keto cookie out there. They're just, they're the perfect crunch, the perfect taste, the perfect size. I'm satisfied with having a serving, which is a half of the bag. And again, they're not super expensive, but they're almost always on sale. They're always having price like adjustments on Amazon and they're almost always on sale on Prime Day. So definitely be on the lookout for them as well as the next item, which is Keto, keto farms. farms. We love Keto Farms, but it can be pricey. I mean, I love the fact that we can get single serve options because I do better with single serve options, but I have to wait till Prime Day because you really do save a lot of money. Yeah, pretty much all the time I see them with a coupon. So I would definitely be on the lookout for Keto Farms of having some kind of a Prime Day deal. Now we do have one more item. This is a bonus item. It's not directly related to keto. Like it's I not gonna it's help connected. you in the kitchen. It's not gonna help you like with eating food. But what it is gonna help you is document your journey because as you're losing weight, as you're getting all of these health benefits and getting more active, you're gonna wanna get out there in the world. You're gonna wanna go experience things yeah. like maybe going camping or going and playing sports, going water skiing, or maybe you wanna go skydiving. And what you're gonna wanna have is 
a GoPro. We have put our GoPro to the test. I mean, it they're really awesome. They're no kidding waterproof. There's all kinds of accessories where you could wear it if you're biking or if you're hiking. I mean, you can attach it to hats and stuff. I mean, there's just so many places you can take a GoPro. And I love this idea because it's a reward mm -hmm. for living your life. What a great non-scale victory is I got out and had some place to see and some activity to do that required a GoPro, right. right? I never needed a GoPro when I was just sitting all day in my recliner, but now that I'm out and I'm going for my morning walks, there's all kinds of beautiful things in nature and also experiences and, and family time to capture on film. Yeah, and GoPro, the general price is about $399. That's the regular price on them, but a lot of times you're gonna see on Prime Day, they're gonna either Either A, put them on sale or they're gonna pack them together in a bundle because what can get expensive with GoPros is the accessories, especially the batteries. The batteries don't last a long time, like 30 minutes to an hour at most. Yeah. And when you have on like all the motion stabilization, that cuts down on batteries. Well, you can a lot of times get it like $350 and it comes with three extra batteries. So I would definitely be looking for those kind of deals. As well as chargers. Yes, chargers, all of the all of the fun stuff. But I think that's our entire list of everything that I would be looking for on Prime Day. But again, let us know down in the comments section, what are you looking for on Prime Day? Is there anything we missed that belongs in the Keto Kitchen? Let us know down below. And also on Prime Day, which is Monday and Tuesday this week, head over to our Facebook group. When you find something really cool, yes. put a little note in the Facebook group because maybe you found something that nobody else knows about and we wanna share that with all of the 2KK family. Yeah. After, of course, you get yours because I know it is limited. <laughs> right. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we buy something new, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.